Dual cameras are all the rage, it seems no matter where you turn. A smartphone manufacturer has a smartphone with a dual camera on the back. And this is one of the latest. You may not recognize this logo, but that logo defines this as a Xiaomi phone, a popular Chinese manufacturer who many will have heard of thanks to their excellent looking smartphones released at a very reasonable price. Now, before we go any further, you should know this isn't available in the US or in Europe without going through an importer. So let's take a look to see whether you want to go to all that trouble to get one of these into your hands. Obviously, it's these dual cameras that are the big draw. So what do they do? When you have a 13 megapixel camera at the top and a five megapixel camera underneath, and that's for capturing depth of field information. So we've set up a little demo here where you can see what's going on. The Xiaomi phone has a fingerprint sensor located in the home button here and it's a physical button too so you can actually push that down. You'll see there that this is running Android and we'll come back to that in a short while. So let's take a look at the camera first. So we're going to the camera mode here and you've got a little scene in front of us. So to enter into stereo mode, oops, you'll see this little blue icon here. As long as that's tapped, you can focus in on a subject in the frame and adjust the brightness of the photo with a slight upward or downward swipe and take your picture. From there, you go into your gallery and again push that little sort of camera lens icon and you get a chance to adjust where the focus is in your picture and then just the amount of blur with this slider at the bottom. So you can see there all blurry in the front and much less blurry in the background so it gives that familiar or now familiar bokeh effect that we'll see on phones such as the iPhone 7 Plus, the Huawei P9, the Honor 8 and various other smartphones with a dual camera lens. So we think that's pretty cool and the effect really is very good. It's also extremely simple to use. Sometimes these things can be a bit complicated and we don't like that. As you saw there, it's pretty easy to use. Other defining features of the um, Redmi Pro, which is the phone that we're looking at here, uh, the 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED screen. First time Xiaomi has used an AMOLED display and it is very, very bright and the blacks are really lovely. Runs Android, as we've said, but it uses Xiaomi's MIUI over the top and it's pretty dense. It's not really Android as we know it. Uh, the phone that we have here came without Google Play installed, so we had to put that on ourselves. But once it's installed, it's very easy to add in all your usual apps, including all the Google services that you might want to use, Google Play Store, Google Maps, etc. The processor inside is extremely powerful. It's a, a MediaTek X20, which has 10 cores. And this one has three gigabytes of RAM to help it along. There's also a premium version with four gigabytes of RAM and the MediaTek X20 processor. It's still a 10 gigabytes, just slightly newer. The phone, as you can see, has got a aluminium metal body. Um, we really like this brushed metal effect on this one here. It is quite thick, over eight millimeters, but it's a hefty feel to the phone. If the dual cameras made you think you want to own a Xiaomi Redmi Pro, then you're gonna to have to go through an importer to get one. The price is extremely attractive, at $250 for this. And that's a really good price for anything with a dual camera. Pretty much half what you'll pay even for an Honor, for an Honor 8. Now, there are various options and you can find them in our review of the Redmi Pro on Digital Trends. Um, However, if you're in the US, you do need to be aware that there are limited 4G bands for this, meaning it might not connect to your 4G network. We've had a few connectivity options, uh, problems with 4G in the UK too, but it does work with 4G in the UK and it will work with 3G in the US and Europe as well. So 
if you're aware of the issues you might get with using a Chinese version of the Xiaomi Redmi Pro, great. There is a chance that you might find Xiaomi come out with a proper global version in the future still only be available through an importer, but it will have all of the right bands for using the phone internationally. So for more on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro, you can read the full review at Digital Trends right now.